Everything you're hearing right now is fake. The birds, fake. The traffic, fake. My voice is dubbed. This is the sound straight out of camera. And this is the sound after doing some ADR, which is what this inside look at filmmaking is all about. What's up everybody, it's Spencer from Your Media People here today to talk to you about something that's very close to my heart, ADR. ADR stands for Automated Dialogue Replacement, which is basically just a fancy way of saying you dub in dialogue on a microphone after you shoot the footage. When it's done well, it is a complete game changer. When it's done poorly, it's not good. But I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks I know to make sure you do it right. Let's get to it. To do ADR, all you technically need is a microphone, but with that being said, I recommend using a nice condenser microphone instead of a dynamic microphone. Reason being is condensers don't have a strong proximity effect, which is common in dynamic microphones. See how loud I am right now? And see how quiet I am when I'm just a few feet back? Condenser mics don't nearly have this strong of a proximity effect, and therefore they sound a lot more natural, so use a condenser. It's also extremely beneficial to have some sort of vocal booth or treatment set up. Treatment will deaden any natural reverberations or echo that you might get in your room. I recommend hanging foam, but if that's not an option, try using a room with carpet and a bed, as these will help deaden the sound. For this example, I had Alex recite a few lines on a busy street. I made a quick edit. Let's see how it sounds. This is what separates the men from the boys, the amateurs from the professionals hobbyist from the experts. This is ADR. Clearly the audio leaves something to be desired, which is where ADR comes in. Once you're happy with your edit, go ahead and export the video. This is just a reference, so resolution is not important. I usually set it to 720p to save storage. Next, let's pull the clip into our recording software. I'm using Logic Pro 10 for this, but this should work in whatever software you use. Once you're in your recording software, you're going to want to chop the dialogue into manageable sections. For this sample, each sentence has its own section. I'm gonna take the first section, drag it onto a new track, copy it, and paste it six to eight times. This is what it sounds like. This is what separates the men from the boys. This is what separates the men from the boys. By having it repeat, your actor will be able to develop a rhythm, which helps them nail the timing. Next, I'm gonna have Alex listen and record the line over top of the original recording. This is what separates the men from the boys. This is what separates the men from the boys. This is what separates the men from the boys. Once you have a take that seems good, cut the best repetition out of the take and line it up with the original reference. Play it and see how it lines up. This is what separates the men from the boys. Okay, great. Let's do the same thing for the next line. The amateurs from the professionals. The amateurs from the professionals. The amateurs from the professionals. Again, we're gonna take the best repetition, line it up and see how it sounds. The amateurs from the professionals. Okay, cool. You just repeat the same process for every line that you need to dub. Here's how it sounds after we dubbed all the lines. This is what separates the men from the boys, the amateurs from the professionals, the hobbyists from the experts. This is ADR. It sounds great, but it feels weird. And that's because we haven't done any sound design yet. It's a beautiful day. He's walking down the street. We expect to hear traffic, hear birds, hear people talking, and we don't hear that, so it feels weird. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna export this out of Logic and we're gonna pull it back into Final Cut. Next, I added some street sounds and a little bit of music to make the whole scene come to life. Let's check out the final product. This is what separates the men from the boys, the amateurs from the professionals, the hobbyists from the experts. This is ADR. As you can see, the ADR with sound design is infinitely better than the in-camera audio we started with. And I think it drastically improves the production value. So if you're in a situation where you don't have a boom operator or getting sound on location is extremely difficult, 
Give ADR a try. You'll be surprised at what you can do with it. And there you have it, ADR. If you're doing it, keep up the good work. And if you're not doing it, you should give it a try. Honestly, it's one of the most useful things we've come across in our career thus far. It was a total game changer for us, and I'm sure it can be a game changer for you as well. There are a lot of YouTube videos out there that cover this in more detail. I strongly encourage you check those out. I just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction to ADR. If you found this helpful or interesting, be sure to give your media people a subscribe and a like on all the social media platforms. We would greatly appreciate it. I'm Spencer, and I'll see you on the next one.